I'm sitting in a crater with uh, you know, my legs in my face. I knew right away how bad it was. Jacob Romo remembers everything. From the second the Marine Lance Corporal stepped on an IED in Helmand Province in February 2011 and every moment after. I was conscious the whole time. Uh, I stepped on it, it blew me up in the air, uh, I landed in the hole. Even then, he knew what he wanted to do. And I was still smoking in the hole that, you know, that I was going to want to do martial arts again. And so he is. He's been through some 36 surgeries, and when people see what he's doing... Usually a jaw drop and eyebrows go up. When he's here, he feels... Alive. <laughs> That's the best way to say it. You know, sitting in you know sitting in the hospital for so long, I, I could feel myself getting weaker. And the more I do this, the more you know it's it's, it's solidified that you know, I, I can. I'm working around whatever, whatever it is people think I can't do. Or Romo, who's been doing martial arts since he was about four, is now working to become an instructor. There's a lot of opportunity that wouldn't normally have existed. He lost his legs, and yet he's focused on his advantages. Being in a wheelchair, you have a lower center of gravity. Um, I have a very tight turning radius. Um, I'm sitting on a chunk of metal. Even the chair is built to his advantage. So there's a seatbelt right here so that he's more difficult to get out, and also the armrest can become a weapon. He's very uh, articulate in the way that he gives, you know, his critiquing to the students and they're very receptive. He's awesome. He's absolutely awesome. Uh, he is, uh, he's incredibly strong, um, probably stronger than he realizes. So if there's anything he wants people to remember. Th there's, there's really no excuse to, to sit around and say that I can't. In Sorrento Valley, Erica Fox. You don't have any excuses. Fox 5 News.